quite windy here. Um, it's tied down well, though. I think uh, it's, it's, this is, uh, <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting it to be this windy. Hopefully you can actually hear what I'm saying. <laughs> um, you, okay, great, great. Um, so uh, this, is, this is, I think, the, the most inspiring thing that I've ever seen. Um, and I'd just like to uh, thank the, the, the SpaceX team and the, the suppliers and um, the, the, the people of, uh, of, of Boca Chica and Brownsville. Uh, thank you for your support and uh, just like, wow, what an incredible job um, by a, a, such a great team to build this incredible vehicle. Uh, so I just like, first of all, I want to start with that. Uh,
continuing on Starship. As a reminder, this is a test flight to a 10 kilometer altitude. Engine number three shut down on time as planned. We're continuing to climb on two engines. Everything continues to go well with Starship. Good engine performance so far. Plus three minutes, 20 seconds. We've shut down engine two on time. You saw that on the screen just a few seconds ago. Starship now climbing on the power of engine number one, headed to the 10 kilometer altitude. plus four minutes. Vehicle is at 10 kilometers. It's apogee. It is at apogee. We're continuing to throttle down engine number one to hold altitude. We're preparing for handover on the propellant tank. Four and a half minutes, we are handing off to the LOX tank. We are beginning to flip to horizontal. And the white cloud, the plume you were seeing was intentional. There is a liquid oxygen dump. We've now transitioned to horizontal and beginning the subsonic test portion of the flight where we check out the aft and the forward flaps to hold the vehicle stability as we descend back to the landing pad.
plus five and a half minutes. Starship continuing the subsonic descent using the forward and aft flaps to control its attitude as we come back down to the landing pad. Everything continuing to go well in this portion of flight. Land intro. Six minutes, ten seconds into flight, we're down beneath one and a half kilometers. We're preparing to restart two engines, flip the vehicle vertical, then transition to one engine for the landing burn. Oh, I see. Let's get cameras up. Plus 30 seconds, Starship 10 has lift off. It's headed to 10 kilometers on its test flight from Boca Chica in Cameron County, Texas. Coming up on T plus two minutes, we're getting ready to transition from three engines to two engines firing on Starship. We'll be shutting one engine off. That's intentional. T plus three minutes and counting. Starship coming up on eight kilometers altitude. We're getting ready to shut down the second engine. This is intentional. I'm clear. Oh, very nice, very nice. 
Okay, now to switch over to the header tank for the one engine. Okay, I'm going to come back up when we hit 10 kilometers, right about in three seconds. Coming up on T plus four minutes, we're at 10 kilometers. We've gone into the hover. We're still being powered by the single Raptor engine. T plus four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned. It's flipped to the horizontal mode, beginning the descent back to the landing zone. Coming up on five minutes, 45 seconds. We're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light three Raptor engines to begin the flip sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. Third time's a charm, as the saying goes. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle using the front and aft flaps. And as we approached the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned, a beautiful soft landing of Starship on the landing pad at Boca Chica. Also, a congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. They've steadily increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program and have delivered some of the most exciting test flights many of us have seen in a long time. 
The Texas team has several more suborbital test vehicles in build with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. It's an inspiring time for the future of human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us for the next test flight of Starship 11. Good preview cycles. Ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. plus 33 seconds. Starship test vehicle number 11 ascending over Starbase in South Texas. One kilometer altitude. We've heard the call out. We're over one kilometer up. Views from the external camera on Starship number 11 looking back towards the Starbase facility in the fog in South Texas. Four kilometers altitude. T plus two minutes, we're getting ready to shut down the first of the three Raptor engines. Plus two minutes, 21 seconds. You can see we have shut down the first of the three engines on time as planned. T plus three minutes, continuing to climb on power of two engines. We're past eight kilometers. T plus three and a half minutes. You can see with the camera view, we have shut down the second of the three engines as planned. We're now slowly climbing to the final 10 kilometer altitude on the power of the single Raptor engine. Once we're at Apogee, we'll hover shortly, shut down the engine as we flip over and then descend back towards the landing pad at Starbase. 10 kilometers altitude. Coming up at T plus four minutes, we're at 10 kilometers altitude, and we are getting dropouts on the camera, but we continue to get telemetry from the Starbase, from the Starship vehicle.
While we're waiting to reestablish video connection with the vehicle, we have shut down the third of the three Raptor engines as planned. We're now beginning the horizontal maneuver back down to the landing pad at the Starbase facilities. As we get close to land, we will ignite the three Raptor engines, flip to vertical, and then land on the thrust of a single Raptor engine. T plus 4 minutes, 40 seconds and counting, and it looks like we've got some camera views back again. Six kilometers altitude. T plus five minutes. We're passing through five kilometers. A nice view from the exterior camera showing one of the flaps on the Downrange Starship test Control vehicle Airport number 11. Two kilometers altitude. One kilometer altitude. T plus 545, we've just passed through one kilometer altitude, getting ready for the relay. Plus 30 seconds, Starship 15 is airborne as we get a view of the three Raptor engines as we're powering our way to 10 kilometers altitude in today's test flight. Just past one minute into flight, we're through two kilometers altitude. All three Raptor engines continuing to burn. Next major event, about one minute, is we will turn off the first of the three Raptor engines. Coming up at T plus two minutes, uh, we appear to have uh, frozen the view from the engine cameras. However, the Raptor engine's continuing to perform, and we've got shutdown on engine three on time. plus two minutes 40 seconds while we're trying to regain video from the vehicle 
We continue to ascend. We have just passed the 8-kilometer point in flight. Everything continues to look good on Starship 15. Coming up on three and a half minutes into flight, we're approaching the 10 kilometer altitude. We'll begin to hover here. We've had engine number two shut down on time. We'll now be moving into the hover with one engine. And then in a little bit, we will begin the flip over to horizontal position and begin our descent. Where hopefully a ground camera will be able to bring us live views of the flight. Just past T plus four minutes into flight. We've got the views back from the Raptor engines. We get T plus 4 minutes, 34 seconds. While we're working to regain video, it looks like we've got a shot looking back at the flaps on Starship. We're in the horizontal descent phase now. We're passing 6 kilometers. Now, a reminder, phase that's coming up as we get ready for landing, we will light three Raptor engines, flip the vehicle from horizontal to vertical. If things look good, we will shut down one Raptor engine and then possibly a second one and land on a single engine in the landing zone. Five minutes into flight, Raptor continuing to descend. We're coming up on three kilometers altitude. have ignition. Starship heading back to the lander zone. And Starbase Flight Control has confirmed, as you can see on the live video, we are down. The Starship has landed. We're going through the safing sequence in the flight computer right now. We'll be back in a moment. 